Hello everyone, welcome to Inno Tutorial. Inno Tutorial is a channel where we discuss civil engineering topics. So if you are new to this channel, you are very very welcome. Now we are finally going to be using the ETAP software. So ETAP software, this is a software used by structural designers to analyze and design structures so we can use it to analyze and design buildings we can use it to analyze and design tunnels we can use it to analyze and design various type of structures so i'm going to be teaching you guys how to use this software and this is going to be from scratch i'm going to teach you everything from scratch so it's going to be from beginner to pro and i'll be creating a series of videos on ETAP. So I'll be creating a playlist where I will put all the videos. So if you want to learn this software, you need to follow this series of videos. So ETAP is very, very important for structural designers. And ETAP is one of the most common software used by structural designers when designing structures. We also have other softwares like Start Pro, we have SAP 2000, we have Procon, but ETABS is the most commonly used software. In case you don't know, the Bosch Khalifa was designed using ETABS. So this shows you how powerful this software is. So you need to learn this software. It is very, very powerful. Now, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe before we dive into the series of videos so make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video that says subscribe then after that you are welcome to this channel in this video i'm just going to make you guys to be familiar with the software so i'm quickly just going to show you the interface so first of all you need to download the etap software so if you open etap for the first time this is how the interface will look like so like every other software, you are going to have the menu options. As you can see here, we have the menu options. Then on the left side, we have the sidebar. So this is basically just the same thing we have on the menu option. Just that we have the quick shortcut. So this side on the left, the left sidebar, we already have everything inside the menu options so on the left sidebar we have the quick shortcuts for the menu option then on the top side as you can see here we also have the quick shortcuts for the menu options so let's understand the menu options so let's understand each menu option one at a time so as you can see the first menu option we have here is the file menu so the file menu will allow you to create a new project. It will also allow you to open an existing project. It will allow you to close your project. It will allow you to save your project. So this is for the file menu. If you click it, as you can see, we have new model. So this is where you can create a new model. You can open an existing model. You can close your model. You can save your file. You can import a file from other software into ETAP. So you can import a file from AutoCAD into ETAP using the DSF file, as you can see over here. You can also export your model from ETAP to other software using the export command here, as you can see. You can create a report, you can capture pictures, and you can do other interesting stuff. You can also exist your model as you can see then the second menu option we have is the edit menu so as you can see this is not yet highlighted this is not yet highlighted because we have not created a new model so before you can access other menus you first need to create a model then after creating the model other menus will be highlighted so basically the edit menu is where you can edit your model and which I'm going to be showing you guys when we finally use the software. Then the view menu, this is basically where you can change the size of the uh, model. 
then the define menu this is where you can define the materials you are going to use for your structure you can define the session property you are going to use for your structure so you can define the materials that is you can define the concrete material you can define the steel material you can define the aluminum material and for the session property you can define the session property that is the sizes of the beams the sizes of the columns the sizes of the slabs the size of the shear walls etc so this menu will allow you to do that then the draw menu is where you can basically draw your building it's where you can draw your beams where you can draw your columns where you can draw your shear wall etc the select menu is where you can use to select properties in the building so for example let's say you want to select all the beams you can use this to select the beams if you want to select the columns you can use these to select the columns if you want to select let's say that the share wall share walls in the building you can use this to select it then for the assign menu this is where you can assign your session property you can assign your materials so let's say for example after you uh, define your session property the session property of the beams the session property of the columns the session property of the share wall you will need to assign it on the model so how can you do that you are going to be using this assign menu to do that which i'm going to show you guys when we finally start using the software and the analyze menu this is where you can analyze your structure so after defining your materials after drawing the model after assigning your properties your session properties you will need to analyze the building to check if it is okay or not to check if you have too much stresses on the beams to check if there is any deformations to check if there is p data effect to check if there is torsion in the building then the display menu this is where you can display your results then the design menu this is where you design your members it is where you design the building because after analyzing the building you will need to design the building so because you can't just analyze a building without designing it after analyzing the building you will need to design the building so that you can get the final properties you can get the final session properties of each members so that is why we also need to design the building because that is basically the main purpose of using this software we want to be able to design our members we want to be able to design our beams we want to be able to design our columns our share walls and etc so this is where you can design your members then we have detailing so after designing you know your members you need to detail the members so it is basically where you provide the steel inside the members now this is why ETAP is very very is very very important and this is why ETAP is one of the best designing softwares out there because of this detailing option like other softwares they don't have the detailing option you need to detail it using using other softwares but for ETAP, ETAP give us the opportunity to detail our structure then we have the options we have the tools menu and we have the app menu so where you can seek for app if for example you have any issues using the software then you can use the app menu so this is basically it so this is how the interface we look like so this is it so this is the end of this video now in the next video we are going to be learning how to use this software